Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans, and today I want to show you around this Sprinter 170 that we just wrapped up. Before we go inside, I'll talk about some of the exterior highlights of this vehicle. So it is a Sprinter 4x4, but it also has an agile rip kit. We have Line X along the bottom line, and then also on the hood here, uh, we have a luminous uh, Nerf bars with tread plate on them. We have a pop top up top. Um, and then we have upgraded wheels and tires here. So you'll see that we have a black Rhino wheel and a KO2 tire on that. Additionally, in the front, um, I mentioned we have the aluminous front bumper. We have hella 500 fog lights. And then we also have this 52 inch 300 watt LED light bar up top. Let's check out some stuff in the rear. And then in the rear of the van, we have an owl tire carrier, an owl, an owl cargo rack. And then we also have this exterior um, solar port so that we can use a flexible um, solar panel while parked in shadier areas. All right, welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this rig, I'll start with just the overall design and the layout. So when it comes to design, you'll notice that we have walnut grain match slab door cabinetry for our uppers and our lowers. We have an oak flooring down bottom. We have upholstered wall panels, that's gonna be gray mix. And then we have a custom dinette in the rear and that's gonna be with steel colored Duramax. Uh, you'll notice we also have walnut tables both in the front dinette area and the rear di dinette area. And then we have a secondary bed on a Happy Jack bed lift system to make this rear area a bit more versatile. When it comes to layout, as I kind of hinted at, we have a riding and dinette area in the front here with all of these additional captain's chairs. Moving a little bit further back, we have our galley area. So that's gonna be with Corian countertops and the walnut cabinetry that I mentioned. And then all the way in the rear, we have our dinette that's gonna convert into a secondary lower bed. And then we have another bed up top on a Happy Jack bed lift system. And then we also have a pop top up here which will sleep in additional two passengers. So I'll show you that shortly. I'm gonna start in the front and work my way back. As I mentioned in the front of the vehicle, we have this additional seating for the extra passengers. All of these are gonna be JMG captain's chairs. They have three point retractable seat belts um, and they're the diamond pattern variety. And then we also have a removable center mount walnut table so that the front captain's chairs can swivel around and they can share a meal with everyone in this area. These chairs are also really nice because we can fold down the backs, push them forward a little bit to create a little bit more room in the living area. Moving a little bit further back, we have our galley area. So I'll start on the passenger side here. Um, we have a two burner and Pava induction cooktop. Underneath that, we'll have a 4.6 cubic foot isotherm door style fridge and freezer up top in the left hand corner. Then we'll have our 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink with a cutting board insert. And underneath that, we have a seven gallon removable gray water tank. Um, in this little area, we have white Corian countertops and then we also have a walnut butcher block countertop extension there. And then to round out this side, we have a microwave up top. Moving over to the driver's side, we have just another little workspace here with that Corian countertop and a storage area for our dry flush toilet. So you can open that up. If you're somewhere where you can't go outside, you can obviously use it right here. But the great thing about a dry flush toilet is that you can charge it up and then take it outside of the van, find a nice spot by a river and put it down there. Moving beyond the galley area, we have our dinette. So this van has a bed up top and then a dinette that turns into a second bed and then we also have a third bed up in the pop top uh, but when you want to use this area just as a dinette we can go ahead and throw up the top bed with our happy jack bed lift and then we can come back here room to seat at least six back here we have a walnut table on two center mounts and then we also have a nice little storage drawer there Additionally, down there, we'll have our vents for the Rickson Hydronic Heat and Hot Water System. Um, and then we have the custom cushions. Those are going to be steel Duramax. So I'll go ahead and throw this into bed mode so you can see what that looks like. All right, so when we have our two beds in bed mode, this is what it looks like. So we have that dinette 
um, transferred into a bed. And then we also have this upper bed, which is on the Happy Jack bed lift system. Both of these are gonna be 72 inches long. So nice roomy sleeping area here, just so you can see that Happy Jack in action. To lift it up, I can just send it up like that. And then you'll notice that we have reading lights um, with USBs at the rear of that upper bed. We also have an AC unit up top, as well as a lighting zone for the main dimmable LED overhead domes, and one that is separate under here for the dinette and lower bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into dinette mode. So on the driver's side of this van in the bench seat, you'll notice that we have our power cabinet. So in here we have 400 and 400 amp hours of lithium battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter. We have 200 watts of solar coming in from up top, and then we'll have an additional 100 watts coming in from that flex solar panel outside. And then over on the passenger side, we have our water cabinet in here. So there you'll have a 30 gallon fresh water tank with a pump to send it to both the shower and the faucet up, up front. And then we also have our Rickson hydronic heat and hot water system just gonna bring hot water to the vehicle and ensure that it's nice and warm in the winter. So this is gonna be a four season capable vehicle. So when it comes to ventilation in this van, um, back here in the dinette and sleeping area, we have two half slide windows on either side. And then where the passengers ride, we have two Sierra Lawrence T-Vent windows. Those are gonna have the awning windows on bottom and then a nice flat pane above that. Um, so really nice for the riders to be able to see everywhere that we're going. And then we also have a max air fan in the pop top that I will show you momentarily. So up top here, we have an additional sleeping area. This is definitely roomy enough for two up here. We have windows on both sides and in the front. You also have an additional lighting unit up here so you can read before bedtime, all that good stuff. And then we have a max air fan up top just to pull in even more breeze during the summer months or suck out any air from the vehicle during cooking um, and whatnot. All right, so we've already shown you some of the good stuff that we have stored in these bench seats but additionally back here we have our exterior shower again that's gonna have some nice hot water coming through it and we also have this raised floor which can come out and act as an outdoor table to eat at covered in the same oak flooring that the rest of the vehicle is in and it's on 500 pound gear slides so you can sit on it if you would like to that wraps up this van tour again i'm lucy with ross monster vans thanks so much for watching be sure to follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour. I hope you have a great rest of your day.